Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy, and I want to start off uh, my podcast. I'm not going to say the title because with this episode, it's a really serious episode of my podcast. This is the first episode, and I don't like it. I have to do this on. I don't like the circumstances on my first episode on my podcast. So today, um, I'm going to remember, I'm going to remember my father, Christopher M. Sulak. As you all know, um, my dad passed away this month, back in 2016. And I want to come on here and remember him for the great person he was. My dad, he was a non violent guy. He didn't like violence. He didn't like hate. And he didn't like racism. That's the best thing, one of the best things. I remember it without him. My dad was a hard worker. He worked every day. And he inspired me because he didn't go to Cali. So he decided to take a and go back to school and he got his diploma from the University of Phoenix. And I remember that because my dad would work hard. Like, my dad would work hard every night. Every night to earn that diploma. And when he got that diploma, I was proud of him. I was proud that he succeeded. My dad. He was like a superhero to me. He was a uh, great dad. He um, helped uh, us out a lot. Helped my mom take care of me. And my mom learned a lot from him. She learned how to. Um, between my equipment, she learned how to do my breathing treatments. And this is back before I had the breathing treatment that you put on tracheostomy. This was back then. The other things I remember, I met my dad, I, uh, I always remember when you would take a soul. To the shore. And we will go to Seattle City. Both of some fun times. Well, we weren't my dad. We took my, um, my aunt and my aunt, my uncle and my cousins, Michael, Ryan, and Sarah, I'm sure. I remember those days. We, we got, we got, we rented. Some pretty shitty houses. I don't make that. But later in life, we rented some gray houses. One in particular, it had a few steps. We had a brain ramp. But this house was perfect for me. But years later, they they sold it. I ended up tearing it down. I forget what happened. And then I was gone. But I know it's gone. But I still have... We still have our memories in my beach house. My dad... was a great man. Like I, like I said, there's a lot of other great things he did. I remember when he took me... So my first Philadelphia Flyers 
game. And this is back when the Flyers played at the Spectrum. Um, I think it might have been early night. Early nineties. It was in the early nineties. Um, I remember fun games. I spent them with my dad. And years later, when they opened up uh, the Wells Fargo Center, which was the Corsic Center back then, I remember we went to a lot of Flyers games there. The best memory of them was when we went to see the Phantoms during the lockout season. The Phantoms played at the Wells Fargo Center, which was a heavy center at the time for the playoff games. I remember in the first round they played the odd ones. In the second round they played the screen penguins. In the third round they played the Providence Bruins. And in the Calder Cup finals they played the Chicago Wolves and they swept the Chicago Wolves four games a night. I remember that date thing. Me and my dad went to game four of the 2005 Polar Cup Finals. So if you say it was the Chicago Wolves to win their second second the Phantoms won the second color pump since 1998. And that was one of the greatest memories I have my dad. Another great memory was the Philadelphia Flyers 2010 playing up front. I remember one night, one day, it was game seven, Flyers Browns. The Flyers made to tie the series up three games to three. The day of the game, I ended up in the hospital because my potassium was very high. Me and my dad were in the hospital. We were watching the game. Go after Flyers. They won the game. I was so excited. My heart rate went up, and the Flyers eliminated the Bruins, and they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Montreal Canadiens. I remember this ring very clearly. Flyers got quite married to make the Stanley Cup Finals. Against the Blackhawks. The Philadelphia Flyers. Family history was not on our side. And the Philadelphia Flyers got beat by the Blackhawks in game six. It may have been tough for us, but the important thing is I got some experience as the only top playoff run with my dad. And that was the best memory I had with him. And I'm not here to talk about how he passed away. That's not what this video is about. This video is about remembering my father and honoring his memory. My biggest goal Right now, it's to see the Flyers win the Stanley Cup so I can honor his memory. Dad, I want to thank you for all the great things you've done for me. For all of us in my life. For all of us. You are a great man and we will never forget you. Thank you everyone for listening to the first episode of my podcast.
Hey everybody, it's me.